A body found in an abandoned building this morning launching Little Rock's first homicide investigation in about four weeks. It happened on McMath Avenue between Interstate 30 and MacArthur Park. The city has now recorded seven homicides this year. That's important to point out because that's almost half of the 12 this time last year. Nils Rag joining us live from Little Rock Police Department headquarters with more on this. Any answers as to what happened to this man? And also, this is kind of a bright light for Little Rock crime rates. It is, Bob, but there really aren't many answers for this homicide. We know that Little Rock police were called around 730 this morning and they discovered that dead body there and there are no real full extent to his injuries that they were able to provide, but it was found in an old pizza hut and now we're just waiting for more answers. But like you said, it's a good news for Little Rock crime. Crime scene tape surrounded the spot Monday where Little Rock police homicide detectives went to work. It was feet away from where Brittany Gardner and her son went to play. You just think you're coming to a nice park and then it is, you know, upsetting. The homicide under investigation is the seventh of the year, which tracks 42% under the 12 the city reported at this time last year. Latest numbers from police show a 13% decrease in violent crime overall in the capital city compared to 2022. That trend extends to the largest cities of the country. Police reports show murders are down 17% in New York City, 18% in Chicago, and 33% in Los Angeles. Looking at cities similarly sized to Little Rock, Birmingham is down 35% going from 20 to 13, but Shreveport is trending upward with 13 homicides to date compared to 12 at this time in 2022. The decrease is little comfort for Robert Pellegrin, who lives down the street from Little Rock's latest suspicious death. I guess we'll see what the cause of death is and everything like that, and we'll see. And, but regardless, I think it'll still be kind of an eer, eerie feeling uh, going around the, the area. Are you in a spaceship? <laughs> Both he and Garner hope those numbers don't swing upward, and they urge everyone to keep an eye on their surroundings so that your neighborhood doesn't become a criminal's playground. When you see that in the background, obviously it does make you just think twice. A couple other things to note about this homicide. There was no identity given for this man. We also know that his body was sent to the state crime lab to try and learn a little bit more. No one's been arrested at this point, but we are expecting those state crime results before the end of this week, according to Little Rock Police. Reporting live at police headquarters, I'm Niels Rang.